Here you go, Tom. You want to take this? Is the sure, other absolutely. The same ladies with the milk, and just don't forget your smiley faces. Okay, thank you. Here you go. And let me get you some ketchup also. All right, this is my first work of art. Oops, it's not the best artwork of all time. <laughs> I gotta go to art school to get better on this. Even though I have not, I have yet to make a good one. Tom's smiley faces are horrible, or like third grade smiley faces. That's supposed to be a happy face. I think he was very nervous and he was just trying to rush it. It's also important to tell him why you're doing it, especially if you draw like Tom. There you go. Anybody yeah. might be done, grab their plates, oh, get yes. off the table. Can I take that plate away from you? All right. That's right, stack him up. There Thank you go, you. another one. See how much he can handle. Play him with fire. Big guy should be able to hold big plates. Okay, that's it. <laughs> <laughs> you got big hands. You can grab four or five cups at the same time, right? Boom, I grab him, I got him, I'm going, I'm over here. I was starting to break out into a sweat. I needed to pick up the speed, and you don't have a chance to catch your breath, and it's like a little mini workout we had going on in there. Do you want to take a break? Yeah, let's do that. All right. Ah, it feels so good out here. You know what? In the summertime, there's nothing like the ocean breeze. Man. Oh, I love Nighttime, it. Nighttime, you can just open your windows. Yeah. So, so where'd you grow up? Well, I grew up in Lancaster, and then- Where's um, that? What? Pennsylvania. OK. Do you have kids? Yeah, I do. I have kids. Um, I actually lost one. My daughter was murdered. I found out who it was. I took the law in my own hands. I went out and I assaulted him. And I don't remember much. I blacked out. And by the time I came through, I was already going to jail. I really hurt the guy pretty bad. He's still alive. He's not dead, thank God. So I ended up serving three years for it. Tony told me that his daughter's murder is still an unsolved crime, but he believes he caught the guy who did it. I lived under the boardwalk then for three months. I kept a couple blankets under there. Mm. So I turned my chair and I take my blankets and my backpack and go under there and sleep, go in one of the casinos in the bathroom and wash up. Wow. wow. And I kept coming here and I kept seeing this sign, Jay, Johnny Rockins is coming. And then one day the owner was sitting out there. So I just asked him and I told him the truth about my, yeah. you know, about my background. And the guy gave me a job down here, man. And I owe him so much for taking me off the street. I don't know. Ever since I started working here, it's like my life is just starting to make a change, man, and it's incredible. Tony, my experience with you was phenomenal. You were inspiring, and, and I really did learn a lot from you. And we talked about kids, you know? It hurts me so much to hear what you had to go through, but you'll never forget your daughter, but I want you to take advantage of all the time you get with your other, other members of your family. What I want to do for you is send you on an all-expenses-paid trip to an amusement park of your choice so you can spend some quality time with your kids. Thank you. I really appreciate it. They're going to appreciate it. On top of that, there is a charity. Uh, it's called the National Center for Missing and Exploited Children. Johnny Rockets is going to make a $5,000 donation in Nikki's name. That's and, great, um, man. And so we're going to do that in Nikki's honor. Thank you so much. Sure. <laughs> Tony, I mean, the, the tragedy that happened with your daughter, uh, your living situation where you're under the boardwalk, it's hard for me to even fathom what that must have been like. You know? I was really nervous coming out here because I actually I was taking off time, and I was, didn't know how I was going to make my rent. <laughs> I don't want to go back out there no more. Yeah. One of the things I want to do to help you get back on your feet is to give you $5,000 and for you to be able to make sure you have a roof over your head for a long, long time. Thank you. Nobody's ever done something like that for me. You deserve it. Thank you so much.